How do Chinese spend money for their pets? If you have lived in China for a long time, you'll notice more and more people walking their dogs on the city's streets and alleys. In 2018, the number of pets in China exceeded 168 million, marking China's ascension to the country with the third most pets in the world, second only to the United States and Japan. With an ever accelerating pace of life and a changing family structure, the use of pets for emotional support has become more popular, causing the number of households with pets to increase. In 2013, the number of Chinese families with pets was about 69.3 million. By 2018, that number had increased to 99.8 million, an increase of 44% compared with 2013. Wu Yang is one such pet owner. Yangle In 2018, the size of the Chinese pet market reached 171 billion yuan, nearly five times its size in 2012. The largest majority of that money was spent on food and medical care. In addition to caring about whether their pet is eating well, more and more people are paying attention to the health of their animals and are willing to spend more money to treat their pets. In April this year, the number of veterinary hospitals in China exceeded 15,000. Liu Jun, who has worked as a veterinarian surgeon for 15 years, has a deep feeling about this change. Chinese Chinese就是没有办法去用金钱来衡量它。带这个整个治疗的过程中，我们要最大程度的减少动物的痛苦。In the United States, where the global pet market is most developed, the aging population and continued income growth are the main factors driving the prosperity of the pet market. Nearly 50% of the pet owning population is over 45 years old. It's an entirely different situation in China, however. In the past three years, young people born between 1982 and 2000 have become the main demographic for pet ownership in China. Why are young Chinese people so keen to keep pets? But 
行业的，有的时候可能不是我们愿意去养，而是有的动物可能被抛弃了。我们作为宠物医疗者来说，舍不得他们这帮主人放弃了动物的生命，所以我们会把动物接到身边来。我养它其实就跟养孩子一样，我挣多少钱我就给你相应的比较好的一个就 OK 了。以前可能买三四块的罐头，现在可能买八九块或十块钱的罐头，就是根据我的工资的提高，它也稍微变好了一些。狗粮。我会给它吃稍微好一点的，嗯、呃，进口之类的，相对于来说进口粮会更好一点。我给它买过最贵的一个玩具，也我觉得很很没用的一个东西，就是一个会发光的球，夜光球，两百块钱。Some young early trend adopters have been willing to spend more money on their pets, contributing to the growth of the Chinese pet industry to some extent. In 2018. China's per capita consumption for one pet was 5,016 yuan, 80% of which was from people in their 20s and 30s. In addition to pet food and medical care, young consumers are also willing to try a variety of emerging pet services, such as beautification, photography, foster care, insurance, training, etc., which is good news for companies offering such services. 现在对宠物的洗护加修剪的这个需求量还是比较大的。现在几乎是十家，可能就有八家是养宠物的，大部分人都会选择是在宠物店做洗护或修剪。最开始的时候，人们进宠物店只是为了洗个澡、剪一下毛发，现在光洗澡就可以分出很多种类，各种 SPA 不同。<笑>以前呢，就是造型可能很单一，现在就是各种日系、韩系的造型。In addition to these traits of a conventional industry, the Chinese pet market is also rapidly involving internet technology and methods in the shared economy. Pet pictures, videos, and emojis for apps are highly popular on the internet. Watching other people's cats on the internet is a hobby where people longing to keep cats get their virtual cats fix. In addition, a variety of cat and dog themed cafes are also becoming popular with office workers. As the Chinese economy continues to develop, how will the life of pets change with it? <laughs>